My name is Matteo Garrone. I'm a filmmaker and I made Yo Capitano. The idea of the movie starts from the desire to finally to give visual form to a part of the journey that we don't see. We wanted to put the camera on the other side to tell the journey from the point of view of the hero, in a way. I'm an Italian filmmaker, so I grew up watching Italian uh, master Paisa by Rossellini. It's one of the great masters of the neorealists. And I think there is a, a very strong relationship with my work and them. You know, as an Italian filmmaker, we try to always to recreate a, a bridge with the, the great master of the past. Second, I would say Ethan Alfa Fellini. Fellini grew up with Rossellini. He was the assistant of Rossellini when he started. So there is a strong uh, relationship, also if they are apparently so different. But both of them, the same approach. And then I would say a French filmmaker called Jean Vigo. I would say L'Atalante. He made only two movies. He died, unfortunately, when he was very young, 29 years old. He was a very anarchic director, filmmaker, not conventional. He used to have this approach, very realistic and at the same time magic, visionary, but also very pure. And then the last, I would say, Tarkovsky, Andrei Rublev. It's the story of, uh, of a painter of uh, 15th century and uh, his, uh, his journey through his heart and the moment when he lose the, the meaning of make art and how he refound the deep meaning of being an artist and make art. This movie is a masterpiece and often in the moment where, where I was a little bit uh, losing my self-confidence about myself, about my heart, about my work, I used to watch it and it's been always very helpful.